The workflow with Simscape Multibody has four steps. Define your parts, assemble your mechanism, run simulations, and test embedded software. Let's look at each of these steps. You can define parameterized parts in Simscape Multibody. These parts can be rigid or flexible, and you can import individual parts or entire assemblies from CAD. Once you have your parts, you need to assemble your mechanism. You look at how the parts move with respect to one another, select the appropriate joint from the library in Simscape Multibody, and connect your parts together. You can also sense and actuate these joints to drive your mechanism. Once you have your mechanism assembled, you can run simulations. An animation of the simulation results is generated automatically. If you imported your model from CAD, your joints will be defined for you, which provides a much more realistic looking animation of the results. The animation isn't just for looking at the simulation results, you can also inspect your model, investigating individual parts and seeing how your design is put together. The last step is to test embedded software. The model you create can be converted to C code for running on a real-time target. This can be connected to your embedded control unit, which enables you to test your embedded hardware and software without relying on hardware prototypes.